Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. But before we move on to any further details, i really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for your enormous love and support. Thank you guys so much. And in case you haven't yet subscribed yet, I mean, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press that bell icon. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have landed back in the UK after reportedly making the trip from flying the U.S. commercial. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have returned for their first visit since the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and shunned the use of a private jet. Hello reported. As things stand, it isn't known whether their children Archie and Lilibet are with them, but they have not been seen. It was confirmed last month that the couple would be returning to Britain with a spokesperson at the time confirming Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are delighted to visit with several charities close to their hearts in early September. They are back, preparing for a schedule of events this coming week. So far, it is believed that there are no plans to see the Cambridges, despite only staying down the road from them. There has been... No indication, as of yet, of the couple's intentions to visit the Queen, who has remained at Balmoral amid health and mobility concerns. Prince Charles and wife Camilla have had to step in and attend the Highland Games, a prestigious event in the Queen's calendar. Harry and Meghan's first stop is to Manchester on Monday for the One Young World Summit, an event which brings together young leaders from more than 190 countries. Megan, a counselor for the organization, will give the keynote address at the opening ceremony. The timing of their trip also coincides with the announcement of a new prime minister, with the leadership contest laying either Rusik Sanek or Liz Truss as the next leader of the Conservative Party. While their week is jam-packed with engagements, the Sussexes will be staying at their Frogmore Cottage home in Windsor, which is just a 15-minute walk from the Cambridge's new home at Adelaide Cottage. In the interview by Alison P. Davies for the New York Times Magazine, Megan said that just by existing, she and Harry were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy before they stepped down as senior working royals. And their trip comes just a week after Megan gave a tell-all interview with The Cut magazine, where she dropped a number of absolute bombshells. This included saying just by existing, she and Harry upset the dynamic of the hierarchy. And some reports suggested the interview strained the already fractured relationships, and there were already fears Harry and Megan could bring a film crew with them as they continued to gather material for their upcoming Netflix documentary. And in the interview, she also claimed her wedding to Harry was celebrated like Nelson Mandela free in South Africa. Ooh. Although Mandeep's grandson rubbished her claims. So guys, what do you think about all these news? You think the royals should be taking prior caution because of it? You think there's definitely a hidden agenda behind the Sussexes' return? Write it down in the comments section and let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling roll updates, make sure to like, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, guys, hasta la vista.